just rear-ended a car at 138, and we're gonna run. Get in the car! All right, we just uh, heard from State Patrol, and it sounds like they've got a vehicle fleeing from them southbound on I-5 here. We're gonna try and get over here on the five and see if we can catch up to it. Maybe see if we can get involved in it. Should be coming up behind us any time now. Shut your lights off. They're back right behind us a little ways. Here they come. All right, yep, we got lights. We got lights coming right now. Six out just south of Bridgeport, 2332. Minivan. All right, states initiated this pursuit. All they got for it right now is speeding. They got sticks out right here at Gravelly, so we're going to see if they can get sticks out on them. I'm in it. Watch out for sticks. Stay way left. He's getting off. Go, go. Did he just get off? Yeah, he did. He's going up over the overpass. Go, go. Go. There's an open carrier. The last was unreadable. There's an open carrier. He's going back northbound. There it is, right there. You bailed. 330 County. We need uh, we need K9 to start. We're at Union Mills and Pacific Avenue. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, with the vehicle, we're at uh, Union and Mills. Go there, so we can get on it. Where'd he go? What's he look like, sir? Hey, guys, start setting up containment. White guy with a white T-shirt? Anything else? Looks like he had a flat tire, so he stopped, and you got out, and you started running up that way. Um, what we had was uh, the guy came up here to this intersection, and obviously his car couldn't go any farther. It, it seized up on him. He stopped in the middle of the intersection, and bailed out, and ran a short distance down the roadway, and we think we have him somewhere pinned down inside this field. We got a canine dog here, and we're going to try and do a track on the suspect now. Yeah, we got canine now. coming, Thurston County canine. Are you on learn on? Uh, I'm on learn. Okay, I'm going to stand. Chris, okay. Bring it to learn. We're going into the bushes here. Yeah, I know, I see him. Is he there or is he stuck? Get up! Get your hands up! Help! Help! Hands on your head! Get your hands up! Get your hands behind your head! Drag him out! Drag him out. Hands back. Hands back. Hands back. Hands back. Get a cuff, guys. Get a cuff. Good track, guys. Good job. All right. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Good to go. Hey, partner. No, partner. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Can you hear me? You had the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court. Attorney. You need to wait until I read you your rights. I want to talk to an attorney. Come on. 
Can you find my shoe? No. no. Great attitude. Yeah, you dog bit me. Oh, I'm real sorry about Don't that. run from the Hurry police. In the back of police cars. We'll do. Street. Let's go. You have the right to remain silent. Anything yeah, you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to speak to an attorney and have I'm him like... present with you while being questioned. Yeah, come on. For to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can assign any time to access your rights. In the back of the do you understand cars. your rights? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you understand your rights? Yeah. Hey, hold on. Man, these guys. Dog How many cops I got here? Thank you. Plenty. The positive ID. 100% positive that's him. Okay, cool. Okay. So, where did you get the car from? I don't, what car? The van? You don't know anything I don't about know that? About no okay. So, why'd you run out of your shoes and your coat and all that stuff? Because there's a dog after my ass. Yeah, but it's it's really funny. It came from the van. We could literally follow the trail of clothing. Right? That, that, that's a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you a call trailer? it? A tracker? A tracker. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'd call it. So it sniffed the seat in the van. Mm-hmm. And it tracked right to you. Is that right? Yeah, it did. That's a pretty damn good dog. Yeah, it is. Dustin. Could I, could I ask you this? What were you in jail over at Snohomish County for? That would be a theft, just what, like you read on the paperwork. What kind of theft? What'd you steal? Yeah, I'm sure you called it in. Was it a little simple little thing? Did you steal some food? Did you steal some alcohol? What? Car. A car? Yes, sir. Okay. But you didn't steal this car? No, sir. Okay. Where'd you get this one from? Um, my parents had it. Your parents had it? Yes, sir. And how can we get in contact with them so that we can oh, verify I have that? No idea. My dad smokes coke and my mom shoots heroin. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like this guy's going to get charged with uh, felony eluding, uh, DUI, and they find out that the car's stolen later, then we'll have a possession of stolen property charge as well. Before I uh, came down to Vegas, I was a cop in Reno for four years, and we'd have an exciting call that we'd be talking about for three weeks after it happened. Then I came down to Las Vegas, and those same calls happen three times a night. There's always something exciting going on in downtown Las Vegas. Happy as for an occupied for 11, Charleston and Bruce. Found a stolen car. Air unit available? I'm um, getting them over here. Get out of 4 equipped 411. Hey, for I'm trying to catch up to it now. We're Charleston and Bruce, stand by. Confirming it's Nevada. That's affirmative on a green Nissan Sentra. The car in front of me, the license plate, the way it's on there, was, uh, it's got one screw, so it kind of caught my eye. It's stolen. He runs. We got Enduros with us, too. Copy that. Raise your hands, Metro Police! Put the car in park! With your left hand, slowly step out of the car. Keep your hands raised at all times. Turn around, face away from me. Stop. Slowly walk backwards towards my voice. Slowly stop. Need someone to go hands on. I got it. Okay. Go down the ground. Okay. Get down the ground. Get down. All the way. All the way. Draw it out four. We're code four. We have one in custody. You can clear the channel. Copy, I am. Five, four, eleven, one in custody. Channel start at sixteen fifty-five. So we got no ignition in the car. It's covered by some kind of rag, and there's a broken screwdriver on the, the floorboard. Ignition is on the floor on this side. Okay. It's been seven years since I got arrested. Man. Seven years, huh? Yeah. What are y'all doing today? Huh? I just uh, ran to the store. My buddy told me to take the car. Oh, you ran had the to car. the store. Okay. Huh? What's well, his name? I had the car just like a uh, half hour, man. I just went down here to get some chicken. Is it your buddy's car? Uh, uh, I you guess so. So let's start back. Where were you at when you got the car? Where was I when I got the car? Yeah. I was at the 7-Eleven. Uh, 
Okay, man, when you repeat my questions like that, that means you're trying to think of an answer. No, I speak real clear, okay. man. You should be able to hear me. Am I right? Yes, sir. Let's not, let's not get off to a bad start. Okay. Where were you at when you I got the car? Because hold on, I'm about to go look at the tape right now, because it's 7-Eleven, the parking lot, everything there from inside the store and outside the store is on, on the tape. Back of the 7-Eleven. Now it's the back of the 7-Eleven. That's where I was at, in the back of the 7-Eleven. I'm confused. What did you do, walk to 7-Eleven? Yeah. Okay, so you walked to 7-Eleven. Why'd you go to 7-Eleven? Okay, that's where people be hanging out. I can't out loud trying to get a ride, man, to the store. Uh, okay, so you, you want to play games and, you know, act okay. like I graduated the academy okay, yesterday. I, we'll go that route. Right, okay, I'm going to tell you no lie. I know. Okay, I did not steal the car. Okay. Steve told me he had borrowed a car, that I let a guy, gave a guy some crack to use the car. Okay, so he gave some crack to use the car. Yeah, but he gave a guy some crack to use the car. Okay. So then, uh, how'd you start the car? Uh, it was already started. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to take you over there because I want to interview you. That way we're out of, off the street. I'm going to bring you to an interview room. We can sit down. It's the closest station we have. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't wanna really want to talk to you and interview you out on the street. Right. What's that? Okay. Just because that way we can sit down, you know, I'll take those handcuffs off you. You can relax. Because obviously you might have some more information for me besides this car. Yeah, I'm not going to go to jail. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. We'll go We'll go talk and we'll sit down. You take okay. my food with me? How much food you got in there? Just, oh, man, some chicken, man, and a couple bags of food, man. Is it all going to uh, perishable food or what? Everything except the chicken. Hey, you've been cooperative. I mean, there's, there's obviously some holes to your story, though, man. Yeah. Okay? I mean, this is, like I said. Okay. I didn't steal that car, man. I'd rather you, hold on. I would rather you tell me, look, I don't even want to talk to you than you sit here and lie to me. Okay. Is that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just, I don't want you to insult my intelligence okay. and the fact that I've been doing this job. Okay. All right. Okay. Tell me everything about this car. Tell me everything about the Not car. Not the stuff you told me out on the street, you know, when everybody's around. That's why I brought you in here. Okay. Okay, because I know everything you told me out on the street, that ain't all the truth. But I'm going to forget about some of that stuff so we're not on the wrong page. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth now. Okay. Start off with, all right. Okay. Over at the pepper tree, can uh, I seen the guy go by. Mm -hmm. can uh, he said he was going to the store to get a beer. Okay. I walked up there. I said, I tell him I need to go to the store. And okay. He said, here, man, you can use the car. And can uh, but he said, it's hot. I gave the guy some crack for it. I said, how hot is the car okay. in Canada? He said, a couple days. And okay. I said, cool. And I ran to the store, man, tried to go down there and try to come back. Okay. That's the truth. Okay. How'd you start the car? It was already started. But when you ran in the store, you had to turn no, it off. He gave me a, 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 a nail clipper. Nail clipper. Yeah. So those nail clippers in the car, that's how you started the uh, car. That's how I turned the car off. That's how you turned yeah. it off. And then and when then you got I back, got back in. in, that's how I turned the back off. Okay. And then what happened? And then y'all caught me. <laughs> okay. All right, hang tight, all right? All right. Can you grab that bag in there? Like I said, man, I'll stick to my word, man. You were cool, so I'll let all you right. have a piece of chicken real quick, all right? All right man. You got to be quick with it, because I got things to do. So get to eating. All right. He says uh, he got his a rock rental, which now he is admitting he did know it was stolen, that uh, this guy gave it to him, said the car's hot. That's what I was looking for, some kind of admission from him that the car was stolen, so it makes it stronger in court and the charges stick. Um, like I said, he did have the hot chicken with him, and uh, I'll stick to my word. I let him eat the chicken as long as he was cooperative and letting him eat his piece of chicken. Well, I work uh, graveyard, 9 o'clock at night to 7 in the morning in unincorporated East Pierce County. I love the shift. Working graveyard allows us to be a little more proactive towards the latter part of our shift because the call starts slowing down, gives us a chance to actually go out and catch bad guys, do the things that we were actually hired to do. Got a red Porsche up here, and the license plate's coming up on our hot sheet is stolen, so I'm gonna line him up and see what he does. 398 County. We're off of uh, Webster, pulled over. Felony stop in progress. Occupants of the vehicle, get your hands up. Do it now. Get your hands up. Get out of the vehicle. Don't reach down there. I will shoot. Get your hands up. Okay, stand up. Turn and face away from me. 
Turn and face away from me. Get your hands up. Back up to the sound of my voice. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Go get on the ground face down. I'm not laying in the dirt. Get on the ground. Do it now. What is going on? I'll explain that in just a minute. Get on the ground. I am on the ground. No, you're not. Lay down. Well, tell me what's going on here. Lay down. I'm not laying in the dirt. Why do you want me to lay in the dirt? Huh? Turn and face away from me. No. He doesn't want to go along with the program, so. Be careful. You want to go ahead? Yep, go ahead. Turn and face away from me. Do it now. Go ahead. I got you. Can you tell me what to... Ow! You don't want to go along with the program there, pal? Then well, don't I'd, go along with the program. I'd like to know what the hell is going on. I told you I'll explain that to you in just a minute, didn't I? Vehicle's clear, one in custody. Cancel the beeper. That's the beeper vehicle's clear with one in custody. 215. Well, this is a stolen vehicle. It's on our hot sheet. Um, just happened to get behind it. Negative, everybody else can uh, cancel, except maybe an east side car for transport. You're in possession of a stolen car. I'm going to give you an opportunity to be honest here and talk with me and tell me what's going on and what you know. Okay? You've been advised of your rights, correct? Yeah. Okay. Where'd you get this car? I got it from, uh... Come on, member. Member, I don't want to lie. I just want the truth. Well, okay? And this is your one chance. Uh, folks call him, uh, JP. And, uh, he told me his name was Jim. And what else? You borrowing it? Did he give it to you? Did he sell it to you? He, he was selling it to me on payment. Mm -hmm. And well, how long you been making payments on it? I just got it. How long ago? Well, yesterday. What kind of payments are you making on it? I gave him a thousand dollars down. You got a receipt for that? At home. Mm -hmm. So you got this from JP? Yeah. Yesterday yeah. and you're making payments on it? Yeah. You, you expect me to believe that? Well, why not? I mean, that's the truth. Because it's a, it's a newer, nicer Porsche, and it's not worth $3,000. And it's not worth somebody, some guy that you just know by initials isn't going to give this card to you without a title or without anything, any paperwork I showing it. a bill of sale and the registration. His name is James. Mm -hmm. And how long has he owned the car? Did you see a title with his name on it or a registration with his name on it? Yeah, the registration for the car. A registration for James? Yeah. And he's the guy you bought it from? Yeah. And you bought it from him last night? Yeah. Well, this car was reported stolen last night, okay? And you said you bought it from James, so something isn't adding up here. No, it certainly isn't. We're going to get him out. We're going to shine a light in his face so he can't see you. Okay? Oh, so you caught someone driving it? Yeah. Um, where, where is he coming down this road here? Or did he like try to yeah. You yeah. yeah. No, he didn't try to elude us. You don't need. You don't know a guy by the name of uh, Doc. Well, he lives in a little. Doc. What's your name? Yeah. No. Okay. Six two fifty five. Nah, man. You don't know him. There's no way I would know someone like that. You know that Lincoln for? Who's gonna hang up on call back? So you don't know that guy at all. He has no. problem with his roommate. Okay. Okay, well, you can uh, you can take your rig. You have some ID just so I know that you are yeah. James. Yeah, my wallet in my car. 
okay, this is what's going to happen. If, they, if the prosecutor chooses to charge him, you might have to testify that you did not uh, loan this guy your car, you didn't give him permission to drive it, anything like that. That's fine, man. Okay, you have a problem with testifying about that? No, no way, man. The dude stole my car. Right on. That's the kind of stuff I like to hear, man. That's good stuff. All right, man. Thank you very much. You betcha. Much. You betcha. This guy is driving a stolen Honda, and uh, we saw him getting on the freeway. Ran his plate on computer, and even before we turned the lights on, he took off. Okay, we're coming up to Yakima, going about 70. Now we blew the red light and blew the four-way at Park. Still eastbound, coming up to Pacific. We should have a unit with spike strips here. Speeds are about 50, we're coming up to 70 seconds. Westbound 72nd. And now, when I tried to get up to pit him, he tried to ram me. He swerved right across, across the bow of the car. Southbound, right through 84. Southbound, He's uh, turning on to 116. We're south on Spanaway Loop from 116. In the corners, I try and get close enough to pit him. He swings his car over and tries to take off the front of my car. He just rear-ended a car at 138, and we're going to run. Get in the car! Are you okay, sir? Sir, mm -hmm. we've got medical aid coming for you, okay? This is the uh, stolen Honda we've been chasing for the last couple of minutes. He's got, uh, you can see the stock ignition is tucked in the, under the dashboard, and then he's got another one he had a key to, he just plugged in. So, did a pretty good job on the front end of this, uh, whoever's Honda this was. Search his car yet, or? Not yet. If uh, maybe there's more of a reason he ran from the police other than he was just in a stolen car. 
Make sure we don't, he doesn't have a lab or he doesn't have any guns or anything like that in here. We're closer. There's this broken drug pipe and a lighter. The marks on Kevin's car look like the guy actually ran into the side of his car. I think he probably did. Okay. I think he just, I think, because he took off from here, and I just, I mean, he's on the road. I don't, right. like, if I can run after him in a car, I will. And Kevin just cut him off. Yeah. And he just bunched into Kevin's, Kevin's hood and landed in the grass there. Okay. And yeah, then, he's got some marks on the side of his hood, and, it, like, yeah. bad guy ran into Kevin. I tried to jump person. over his car and couldn't get over it. All right. So, Good enough. All right, boss. Thank you. Here you go. Sir, here's your gauze to hold up there. What else does he need? Right now, that's it. It looks like he has a, a broken tooth and possibly a broken nose. How are you? Yeah, who are you? Derek? Did you know the police were behind you? No, not at first. Not at first? So at what point did you realize the police were back there? Right before I hit that car. Before you hit the car? Did you see the red and blue lights and all that? No, he didn't hear the siren? The stereo was up loud. It wasn't loud? OK. Is your leg hurt? I do believe it's broken. OK. To whom does the car belong? I'm done answering questions, thank you. Medical aid's on the way for you. We're done answering questions. The victim's going to be transported to St. Clair. OK. Uh, so I'll do, I'll handle this side over here. I got the toes coming. We'll get the slips done for both of them. So thanks for your help, man. All right, buddy. Transport bad guy to the hospital. He's got a sore leg from when he rear-ended the car that sits right back here at the intersection. The guy that got rear-ended has got a bloody nose, but uh, I think he'll probably be OK. And so we'll go follow up. And from the hospital, bad guy will go to jail. So can you hold the net? I've got a stolen vehicle in front of me. I'll be at uh, 20th and Ringo. You have another unit? We got a stolen vehicle in front of us. I've been stolen out of this. Stolen out of this department. Yeah, so he's supposed to be armed. We're trying to get another unit behind me before we blue light him. We're coming up on the MLK now. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Drop the coke. The Drop the coke. Keep your hands up. The car ain't in the drive, man. Damn, man. You got it. Five two seven. You can cut it and clear the net. Roll over on your side. Roll over. Roll over. Roll, Roll over. over. I ain't done nothing, sir. Roll over. Oh, Kick him up against the car. I mean, right there. Man, can you do some car, sir? Why you driving a stolen car, man? Man, you want me to get me this car. Why sir? you driving a stolen car? You thought about taking off, didn't you? No. Huh? No. I ain't done nothing. Where's your gun at, man? You got no damn gun. You ain't got no gun? How come you didn't stop when I hit the blue lights? Boy, you, cause you just hit them. That's I not. hit the blue lights back there on MLK. Why are you just now stopping? I know you did, sir. I can see you. You got any guns or dope in the car? Anything we need to know about? Save, Lean back. Saved you. <laughs> no, I ain't done nothing, sir. What uh, motel is that to? My girlfriend had on. Who's your girlfriend? Turn around. Who's your girlfriend? Do me a favor and kick your shoes off. Whose car is this, man? The woman let me use the car. She still got my ID, sir. What woman is this? I don't know her name. You better start talking or you're fixing to get charged with it. 
And that's fine with me unless you want to start talking. Put I that in there. You can take me to the dope house where she lets for you get show. the car. For show that. For show. Yeah, yeah. Where's that at? On 28th and Harrison. 28th and Harrison? Yeah, What's yeah. that girl's name? I saw so I don't know. Her now. It's your girlfriend. She ain't my girlfriend. I'm talking about the crackhead that let me use this car. The crackhead that lets you use the car. Well, who is it? Because obviously she's the one that stole it, right? Yes, sir. I can take you to her. She got my ID and everything, sir. All right, come on. We'll go back here and talk to me in the car then. Talk to me. Well, you're gonna have to talk or you'll just get charged with That's fine with me. I could care less. Have a seat. All right, we'll be back to talk to you in a second. Are you the owner of the car? Yes, I am. Okay, what happened? Well, he was in the back seat with a um, gun and stuff, so I was... Um, what time, when did all this happen? It was probably about 4.35 in the morning. 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning? Where did Friday it happen? Friday morning. Where did this happen at? At the Coastal on Asher, the Coastal gas station. The Coastal, okay. Uh-huh. And what happened? He was in the back seat, and he told me to drive, to take him where he wanted to go, and I was calming him down. I was telling him he could have that little old bucket. You know, I was just trying to let him know the car wasn't that important to me and that he could have it. Right. And so then he tried to give me his gun. He was like, well, I just want you to take me where I got to go and stuff. I'm like, no, you can just have this car take yourself where you want to go. And believe it or not, he gave me his ID and told me he was going to bring it back. He ever put the gun to your head or anything like that? When I got back in the car, he was laid back in the seat. I didn't see him until he jumped up with the gun and told me to drive drive him wherever he wanted to go. And I walked And gave you his home. ID? He gave me his ID. And said, I'll bring it back it. or he what? He was like, I'll drop it off somewhere around the area. Um, later on that day and don't call the police because I'm going to kill you and your family on the blood. That's what he told me. You want to tell us uh, the real reason how you got this car now? So I'm telling you how I got the car, sir. Okay, I wouldn't be asking you questions if I didn't already know, okay? So I'm telling you, I gave the woman some crack cocaine. Look, for I'm not sir. stupid. This is my first day on the job. How'd you get it? That's why I'm telling you how I got it, sir. Do you want me to tell you how you got it? Because I already know how you got it. Now, I, I just want to hear it from you. You I, got a felony warrant out on you I, from the I county. What I, I know what I got on me, man. So I why don't you start you talking so maybe we can help you out on some of this stuff? i tell you, sir. I was on 28th and Harrison. I gave the woman some crack cocaine for her car. And she said, sir, the car is not stolen. I said, well, hold my ID type bring When would you get back. it then? Um, Last night at 12 o'clock. That's a lie. Are you going to tell me what I know, man? Because I'm telling you what I know. Man, I'll tell you two. I've been telling you two very since you stopped me. You're professional. You're, you're professional, aren't you? I gave her my ID, so I told her. Next time, leave your ID, ID at home when you carjack a vehicle, all right? I'm still telling you, smart dude, man. He's saying that he met you at somewhere on Harrison Street and pulled up to one of his buddies' house. Somebody drove him over there and met you in the street no, and no, gave no. you some crack cocaine and his driver's license to drive the car, no. and then you reported it stolen. No, 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 I work every day, and, and um, I don't do stuff like that. Right, I was going to well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm looking at you, I don't, you really uh, don't look uh, like no, you're on I, crack cocaine. No. So, all right, well, what we're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go down, follow us, follow the police car, down to the detective division downtown. You have to go down there and give a statement. You're gonna have to pick this guy out of a photo spread. Okay, this is a uh, photo lineup, and I want you to tell me if there's anybody in here that looks familiar to you, okay? That one. Okay, and who is number two? The one that had the gun. Okay, when did he have a gun? The one who carjacked me. Okay. That, that's him. That's him? Uh -huh. Okay. Positively identified number two. Good job. Good job, Barbara. She picked it out real quick, didn't she? Yeah, she picked number two immediately. As soon as you laid it down on there. Yeah, and I had two pieces of paper here, so she couldn't see through it. So right. Um, she definitely knows who he is. She said she rode around with him for like an hour or two hours last night. She said she wouldn't have a problem picking him out. And, and she didn't. She didn't. <laughs> she nailed him. Uh, we're going to stop this uh, Bronco that's in front of us. He's got one headlight and no taillights. It's stolen. 414 County Priority. We're northbound on uh, OK Highway, about 288, North Adam King, getting a stolen hit. Now we ran the plate before we pulled it over. The vehicle's stolen. Uh, I'm going to wait for another unit before we uh, try to stop it here. I'm going to light him up here.
Okay, he's gonna stop. We're gonna be just east. Driver, put your hands out the window. Okay, reach in and grab the keys. Put them on top of the rig. Okay, exit the vehicle. Turn around, put your hands in the air, all the way up. Spin 360 degrees for me. Turn around, stop. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Keep coming, keep coming, stop. Down on your knees, cross your ankles. Put your hands on top of your head, put your hands on top of your head. Sit straight up for me. Okay, just stay right like that. Don't move. Uh -huh. Okay, stand up. What did I do, officer? Well, we'll talk about that here in just a second, okay? Okay. Any sharps can put me, cut me, or stick me. No, I don't think so. Anybody else in there? No, looks like it was just him. Anybody else in there? Nope. Okay, what's what your name? Yeah. Josh. Josh. Okay, have a seat, don't touch nothing. Uh -huh. You have the right to remain silent, and you say can and will be against you in court law. You're right this time. Talk to an attorney. Have him present with you. I'm being questioned. You understand that? Yes. Okay. You understand the rig you're driving stolen? I did not know that, sir. You didn't know that? No. Well, who'd you get it from? A guy named Tony drives a black Bronco. Where's Tony at? I don't know. Okay. Well, it's stolen. You're driving it. So downtown you go. Okay? All right. Let's grab a seat in there for me. We know him. He's got picked up by Deputy Eldridge for driving another stolen car a while back. So we'll search it here and see what else he's got. Here's his ID. Okay. He claims he doesn't know it was stolen. Yeah, right. This is the second one. He said he got it from Tony. Sure he did. He knows exactly what to say. Seems as this is the second time I've gotten him. He's run top of the roof. There it is. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if it's stolen, but the key's bent and shaved. Yeah. It's a bent key and shaved down, and they use them to steal rigs like that. So, Let me start a more than likely he knew it was stolen because he's got a shaved down key, yeah. So we'll need a tow. Who's gonna transport him? Whatever you need, man. Cool. Right. What do you got? Josh? Can I put him in somebody else's rig? I'll put him in your rig. All right. You will pick it. My wallet in there? Yeah, we'll get it. Okay, hey Josh. Yeah. Come here. How can you know that rig's not stolen? I don't know. Where'd you get the key? From Tony. From Tony? It was in the ignition when I got it. How come it's all bent up like that? I have no idea. I didn't do it. Okay, you didn't do it? No, You're driving I it. I borrowed it. Okay, didn't Deputy Elder just get you out another stolen rig? I wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I did, mm -hmm. but I didn't steal the rig. I'm not saying you stole it, but you had to know it was stolen. I did not know, honestly. Okay, I mean, you got a shaved down bent key. I didn't do it. Okay. Honestly, I know. Okay, well, you're driving it, so you're I going down for possession of stolen property. Last time I got you for stolen, right? Why do all these stones keep popping up around I you? I don't know. I just you don't back have a job. Me. Yes, I do. Okay. I just got did a you job. Just start it? I just okay. got a job last so week. So you have an income coming in yes, weekly? Yes, I do. How, how much did you pay for that truck? I didn't pay nothing for it. I borrowed the vehicle. So you keep borrowing these stolen vehicles? <laughs> no. The last one, you Make know what to do. Make me understand, Josh, because this is the, the second time. I borrowed the vehicle because it was my first day off in 10 days. Uh -huh. I just started the job. Okay. I was down at the lake partying. Okay. Campfire beers, you know, the deal. Okay. Okay. I came. I was coming up here to see if a friend of mine wanted to come down. Okay. Okay. I'm following you. Keep going. I borrowed the vehicle from a dude in a black Bronco named Tony. Just push bumpers on the front. It, it just it just amazes me that how all these stolen vehicles just keep wandering up wandering in it's, your possession like they do. I don't know. I don't, I don't Honestly, know either. I don't know. I'm trying to straighten my act. How many times have you been arrested for stolen vehicles in the past? One. Okay. Then you got convicted 16. for? Yeah. Okay. I was 16 years you, old. Are you seeing the pattern here? You, yeah, you want I know. to believe you, but it's a little hard. I, I understand that, officer. But honestly, I didn't steal it. I know I got a bad rap sheet, but that. Okay, well, I'm not saying you stole them, but you're, you know you're in possession of it. I'm you in had possession to know something of it. was wrong with that. No, I didn't. Somebody just says, here, oh, here, no, just drive this. A, a, I was in work release with a guy. 
and <laughs> that well, should be your clue. You're in work release with yeah, him. Yeah, but he's been on the straight and narrow. Honestly. Well, obviously he's not on the straight and narrow. I guess so. Okay. It's, well, you better give Martin the, all the info you can give him on Tony. That's okay, if Tony all exists. I know. Tony does exist. Okay. But that's... Well, we'll find out if he does. All right. Okay, well, he's going to jail tonight. He's been picked up in a couple of stolen cars before. Um, he claims not to know it was stolen, but he's got a shave down key and stuff like that. So uh, if you're going to be driving stolen cars, make sure you have all your lights working. 911 reporting. A murder. My roommate attacked me earlier, and then when I got home, he pulled the firearm at me and pulled me up the, at my head. And then he did some weirdo stuff and then walked away. I went to my room and got my handgun and I fired at him. And, and you killed him? I didn't mean to kill him. He attacked me. Uh, we're en route to a shooting. Call just came in. Subject called in saying that he's uh, just shot his roommate. And we are just about to arrive here. So we're going to stand by, wait for another unit before we go contact the shooter. 321 County in the area, stand by for another unit. 321 arriving, 2233. 321 County, we have the caller on the line. Received. Come walking to me! Walk to me! Walk to me! Keep your hands above your heads and walk to me! Okay, go ahead, drop the phone. Keep walking towards my voice. Keep walking towards me. Stop, turn around. Stop, turn around. Put your hands above your head. Lay down on the ground. Put your hands out. Start coming southbound, stop. Cross your feet. You got him, Jerry? I got the house. You don't have a gun on you, do you? No. Put your hands behind your back. Try to kill him. I'm doing your hands. There you go. Let's go clear the house. Great. Yeah. Three to one can. We got one detained. We're clearing the house. Three to one with one detained. Don't worry, I'm a, I'm a white is Republican. There, okay, is there anybody else <laughs> in the house? Where's the no. gun? Where's Nobody the gun else at? in the house? No. Where's the gun at? I don't know. Where's the gun? Know. It's somewhere out there. Somewhere else inside I don't know. I, I flipped no. out because I killed my best friend, but my best friend tried to kill me. It's just been weird. I got bruises all over uh, He says he killed him, yeah. He tried to kill me. Out. I don't, I can't explain it, dude. Okay. I can't explain it. He threatened to kill me in front of some people and beat me up. He got home and he pulled a gun on me. And then all of a sudden after I shot him, I was like, oh my, oh my God. I just shot him. What's his gun? His gun ain't no one He tried to kill me. I just saw him die. Sheriff's Department, anyone inside? Needs to identify yourself. Come out now. Get on the couch. Sheriff's Department, anyone inside? Needs to come out now. Victim here. Knife. Right behind you. Got it. Three to one county. Cancel the beeper. We'll need detectives and item. Uh, what we got going on right now is we're at the scene of the shooting. We've got a suspect in custody outside. Actually, he called us. Walked out to us, has been cooperative so far. This is the gun that he reportedly shot our victim with. We've got a victim down in the kitchen with an apparent gunshot wound to his head. So at this point, we're going to lock up the scene, just get the medics in here to confirm the person, and uh, lock up the crime scene at this point. I think I need some dog in my car. I told Gene to get one. He's in the middle of eating a piece of pizza, still sticking out of his mouth. Um, 
got a bunch of wounds. There's not a lot of spl a splatter around where he was. Where there's a little bit around the body, but nowhere else. So there's no apparent signs of any kind of struggle. The victim says to this guy, you ready to die tonight? And the guy goes, well, yeah, I'm ready to die for the cause. And uh, so the guy was armed with a Kel Tech 9 millimeter. And uh, so he goes, decides he's going to go get his gun. So he comes back in the kitchen. The guy's point, pointed at him, so he shot him. We have no idea unless it's laying under him. There's no gun anywhere. I'm going to go check Jerry to see if this guy's wet. The shower is wet. Looks like there's blood in the shower still. Um, so this guy looks quite a bit like he maybe tried to clean up the scene before he called us, cleaned himself up. So. Well, we have that little bit of splatter. That's the only thing that... You think it's possible he just cleaned himself up? Yeah, I think it's very possible. But, but the, I mean, the, the, the gunshot wounds, there's gunpowder burns right. here, here, here. So he was contact shot, shooting him really close. Right, and he do you think to, if you were, if you had a knife in your hand and you were concentrating on killing your roommate, do you think you'd be eating you, pizza? Do you think you'd be eating pizza? No. Something just. Yeah, just so it's right. getting a little more and more suspicious. I agree. Um, we got two guys that are friends living in a house together and something happens, we don't know quite what, and one shoots the other one, and now the other one's in jail. I work the day watch. It's from 6.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Today, we're gonna be working the John area. The city's divided into several sectors, and uh, most of the citizens in this area are very good people. We do have a few problem, uh, high crime spots, but for the most part, we don't have too many problems down here. Uh, we're just gonna do a perimeter check of a couple of apartment complexes, just, you know, just show a little presence, and. Contact make contact with some of the citizens within the, co within the complex. Some of that crowd uh, has spread all the way over to Marion and Cleveland also, out the street. Uh, okay, there's something, not going, there's something not right here. I got a couple people up in front of me trying to get my attention. We'll go up here and find out what's going on, but uh, there, there appears to be a problem of some sort. Do me a favor, stand in front of the car. Put your knees on the bumper, okay? Until we find out what's going on. All right, you're not going to gym. Take your hands out your pockets, I don't know you. What's happening? I walked out of my apartment, and this man is under the hood, and this, this right. gentleman's here, Elder Rollo. He working, and he's taking part on that white Elder Rollo right there next to that ship. OK. Hold on one second. You don't have any guns or knives on you, anything, no, do you? Put your palms together behind your back. Palms together, OK? Just putting these on. It doesn't mean you're going to jail just until I figure out what is going on here, all right? Our plates come up missing off the car. So I don't know if it's him, but he had no business under the hood of our car. Okay. And his hands all greased up, but he working on his, his on car over here. And he was taking he parts. Was his part. He was taking parts off the car. Why is he over here under our hood of our car? You know, Trying to explain to him. What? The car, it's that can like down there, it's all it's dusty, dirty. It's been sitting there for a long time. It's dirty columns out of it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's wrecked. Okay. And um I usually buy wrecked cars like that and fix them up. I asked, I knocked on one door, I asked the gentleman who lives upstairs from them if he knew who owned it. Okay. And he said, no, it's been there for a long time. So I opened the hood to see if there's a motor in it, you know, and I was going to go to the office. Mm hmm And they, um, that's when they all came out. Okay. And started accusing me of taking stuff off. It's not your car, though. No, I opened it. It looks abandoned. I mean, go, go look at it. It's wrecked. Yeah, and it probably does, but I mean, I understand. Although it may look abandoned, it belongs to somebody. I was, was going to try to find out who, who it belonged to. Okay. But I opened the hood to see if there's a motor in it. I mean, I understand it. Any, any, any narcotics of any type in your pockets, guns, knives, needles, anything that may poke me? I might have a pocket knife with all these tools. Okay. Is the pocket knife going to be open or closed? Closed. All right. Okay. Hold on. Let me give me one second. I'll speak to you in a minute. You don't mind me looking in your pocket make sure we ain't got anything deadly in there? Okay. I mean, you can go over there and look at my car. The hood's open. Okay. Eric came over and said that the Cadillac was there. You know, I can understand if the car was, like, wasn't all dusty, wasn't wrecked, wasn't, it had been sitting there for ever, you know? Well, how long has it been sitting there? Quite a long time. Hasn't been moved. Okay, but it doesn't... I know, it does look... It does give look, you a right to... I'm only working on my car, Eric. Strip parts off people's car because sure, they haven't moved it. I mean, this could have possibly been very different if no one would have came outside. 
And, and, and that might have been you testing the waters. Well, let me pop the hood, you know, start looking underneath the hood. If no one comes out, then this is my opportunity to take what I need. But if someone does, no. then I'll just say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm just looking for the owners. I didn't mean to take anything. Two, John. Your subject has priors for basic speed, battery with a deadly weapon, with substantial bodily harm, assault with a deadly weapon, battery domestic. Charging a firearm at an edifice, more battery domestic, tampering with injured vehicle, driver's license remote, instructing a police officer, evading a police officer, DUI, then DWI. Man, you just about been arrested for everything. <laughs> I mean, other than murder, I mean, you've, you've had an arrest for just about everything. All right, so, I mean, this is not nothing new to you, okay? Born and raised here. Okay. Were you the one that wit actually witnessed him witnessed underneath him the hood? Underneath the hood, because I walked on the door, knocked on their door. I said, what, y'all got somebody working on the car? And I woke her up. She said, no. Uh -huh. So I told him, what is he doing under the hood of the car? Get off under the car. And at the time that he was under the hood of the car, when I walked up, he was unscrewing something. Because I walked, see, like, they stay right here, and the mm -hmm. car was over there. And I seen him unscrewing something. OK. And I yelled at him, and that's when he stopped. And that's when I knocked on their door. OK. You should thank me for showing up. You know, they were just about probably going to jump on you, and yep. a little bug kicking was about to take place. So, uh, thank you. I mean, it is kind of unfortunate that you're going to jail, but fortunately for you, I have to show up and, and saved you a, a trip to UMC, then to jail. You know, you got to keep that in mind, you know, for the next time. Go ahead, climb in. Well, he was trying to get this, he here, to get this here. OK, he was trying to take that off? Right. So this is where oh, yeah, at. you can see the screw right. still right. there. Yeah, that's, that's what he was trying to take off, the alternator. What else is I missing? Think, I think the battery was all wet out of here. No. So I might as well call the <laughs> junkyard. Now everything loose. He was, he was taking off from it. But this, this is where he was at, officer, when I hey. called him. He was bent over like this, and he was unscrewing. So I said, man, what is you doing on the hood of that car? Uh-huh. And he was right here, messing with this right here. I saved his life, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Because <laughs> yeah, I saw him pull it up. You guys look very upset over here, like you're just about to. We let him go, and then he started getting smart. It looked like he was just about to get a, get a beat. Oh, he was. And I ain't got no business putting my hand and I, and I And I told him, I was like, hey, fortunately for you, I drove in here. I mean, you go to jail for all burglary, but they were just about ready to put it on you. Yeah, I was. You know, he, he didn't acknowledge. He was like, yeah, that but luck was on my side. Good thing you did we come through. Leave. Get off and around it right uh -huh. now. But then he got to walk and he started getting smart. Talking, talking smart. You know, and we let him go. So I said, oh, no, uh-uh. And, yeah. <laughs> and that's what I was seeing you and I was pointing at him. OK. He wants to write this down. Yeah, if you can, you know, just, I need you, on both of you, your personal info here. And, and just real brief, OK? Just exactly what happened. Well, like I said, they, they were, as you heard, pretty upset. He looks like he, he can do damage to somebody if, he, if you make him mad enough. Right. All righty, so we may have saved your life, you know. So then you can look at the positive of it. Hopefully this time, you'll learn from this experience. I lived in Fort Worth for close to 13 years now. There's a lot to do in Fort Worth. We get a lot of tourists. We have the uh, historic stockyards from a time when Fort Worth was known as the gateway to the Wild West. It's a decent sized city with a lot to do. Uh, it's a good place to raise a family. I just got a broadcast on our uh, patrol unit computer saying that a uh, Primer gray station wagon kind of beat up with four black males and it just attempted to shoot a, another black male in front of the grocery store several blocks from here. I think that vehicle just pulled out in front of us. Uh, four or five black males riding on a flat tire. They're gonna turn westbound on Avenue L. New Amadale, need to Not yet, but I do need a unit to get with me if they're signal 32. It's going to be stopping here. Stop! Blue shirt, black male, white shirt. Stop! Two on the ground. I'm staying with the driver. 
running westbound. Put your hands up and shut the car off. Shut it off. Hands on top of your head. Step on out here. They got guns. Black male, white tank top. Step on out here. Turn around and get face down on the ground. This ain't a game. Turn around, interlock your fingers on top of your head. Tim Vort, turn around and put your hands on top of your head. Put your hands on top of your head. Keep your hands on top of your head. I nothing, man. Do what I tell you. Step it up. When I tell you to put your hands on top of your head, put your hands on top of your head. You ain't running. Go get the other two. They're, around, they're way oh, down man, there. Hold up. Man, that's my hand. That's all right. Oh, Lay yeah. there. Oh. Lay oh. face down on the ground. Oh, man. Step on out here. You got any weapons on you? Turn around, put your hand on top of your head. Interlace your fingers. Spread your feet. Man, I Bend back. Go down to your knees. Cross your legs. You got any weapons on you? Uh-uh. Man, I don't got no weapons. You got one running or what? I don't got no weapons, man. Why'd your partners run? I don't know. Turn to your side. I don't got nothing in my pocket, man. Well, what do you got? I don't got nothing, man. How come you don't listen to me? Who, me? I thought you said get out the car. Go to the other side. I don't got nothing. You gonna run on me? Who, me? I'm not gonna run on you. I don't got no reason Tell to run. I don't got no reason to run, man. I don't got no reason to run. Get back on your stomach for now. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, oh. <sighs> George 12, I've got a bunch of rounds. I haven't found a weapon yet, but I got fresh bullet holes all down the right rear quarter and the tires flat from being shot also. A broadcast came out in reference to a gray raggedy station wagon with four or five black males that shot at a, another black male in the, uh, some apartments over there. This is more than likely this is gonna be involved. It's got fresh bullet holes and they got rounds in the front seat. Now I'm trying to locate a gun. If you got witnesses of your car with you driving it, shooting up Weber Garden Apartments. They gave you a description. Blue jacket, white t-shirt, driving an old primer grade station wagon. And guess what? White t-shirt, blue jacket, primer grade station wagon. Occupied three to four times, three, three to four black males. So. Oh, like I said, I went in nothing. I don't even know what happened. They just brought well, me their car. You can stick with that then. But I'm telling you, we got eyewitnesses. What happened? We was up at the store. My, we was talking to my little brother. We pulled out and we see the car pull up in. And I was, we standing there and I'm looking out the window and I'm asking my little brother, I'm like, do you know him? And he didn't say nothing. So we make a U-turn and come back up in the store. By that time I jump out, he's like, I'm not in no game. The boy pulled out his gun and clicked, but it wouldn't shoot. He had a blue shirt on, he was the driver. It was about four or five people. And what kind of gun did he have? He had like a revolver, like a 38 or something like that. It was black. black. black How many other people were with him? It was like four or five other people. One of the people jumped out the car. It was a person with no shirt on. It was the one with a white t-shirt on. Then the one that had on the baby blue t-shirt. The, the blue t-shirt. It wasn't a, like a raw blue, and it wasn't a baby blue. It's like in between. Okay. The you can blue. identify the guy who had the handgun. Yes. All right. We got him over here. Step on out. Who is that? That's the people you're pointing a gun at. Man, I don't know them. Sit down. I told you, man. Sit down. 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 What do you say now? Man, I'm saying like this. I ain't Let that. me just tell you what I got. The car with bullet holes in it. Bullets in the car. Two people running. Two people just now looked at you and said, you the guy that pulled the revolver on him and tried to shoot him. You got revolver well, ammunition in your car. Like this. 
Uh, if I got a virus in, in this right, uh -huh. and I shot at somebody, what a piss thing. Do you understand what you're going for? What? Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Man, nah, I can't go back for that, man. Huh? I can't go back for that. I just get well, out. I just get out for that, man, and I beat that because I ain't do nothing, man. I ain't do nothing. That's well, we're saying you did, and that'll be up to you, judge and a jury, and your attorney. Man, you know the jurors ain't gonna be on my side. Well, on downside, I ain't do nothing. All right, that's duly that's noted. Up. All right. What are you gonna put him in for? Right now, aggravated assault, deadly weapon. You hear what he said about just getting out? Yeah. He just did three months yeah. of the same thing. Now he's caught again, and he's gonna go back. That's right.